think it's just how we started, and we're going to keep doing the same thing all year. You know, on paper, you know, we're really good, obviously. Um, but just the, the atmosphere down there of, you know, we can't we can't stay too locked in for the whole game. You know, we got to keep it loose and, you know, messing around with CNL and doing little pranks down there just, it, you know, it helps us out a lot. Okay, so last year we saw shotgunning Red Bulls and I think a version of bowling. So what have we had this year? So those two have came back. Uh, and we also mixed in like a little uh, hacky sack game. If we if we get so many, it's not that we're superstitious or anything, but uh, if we get a certain amount of, of hits, we're like 34 and 0. So we, we try it every single night. You actually keep track of the numbers. I mean, you've watched the wins. You've been watching these other games. Absolutely not. That was a completely <laughs> made up number, but it sounded really good. It does sound really yeah. good. Uh, what's been the biggest difference for you guys between Holmes and Cousins? I know they're both very involved, but it's still a slight shift. Say that again? The difference with Cousins and Holmes. Uh, I mean, he's he's just like we are down there. I mean, he's he's loose. You know, he, he obviously has his job to do, and when the phone rings, he's, you know, on it right away, and that's when we lock in. We, we flip the switch. Um, but other than that, he you know, he's joining in our conversations and just, you know, being like one of us. Toronto is going to be raising their bullpens next year to where they're elevated to where you can actually kind of see into the field. You're not at field level. Does that change things for you guys to watch the different setups at different ballparks? Yeah, I mean, it it helps when we're not looking through a fence. Uh, I mean, they have like the little elevated bench up there now, but I'm sure they're going to build it, you know, really nice. I mean, it, it helps us that way. We're not looking through a chain link fence. We can, you know, see everything once we're watching the game. What's been the biggest difference having younger guys like DL and Felix here? Well, I mean... Like I told you the other day, like I'm still young in, you know, service time years and age. I'm, I'm old, but uh, it's nice to, you know, help them out with things that they don't know. And, and when I was their age, I didn't know either. You know, it's not like they need to come here and, you know, know what to wear to the field and, you know, what time to be here, what bus to take and stuff. So it's nice to uh, see that. And then the energy that the young dudes bring is, you know, we, we can't do that. Only they can. Who's the highest energy out there? Oh my gosh, highest energy for a pitcher. It's got to be either Brian Baker or CNL. Just when they when they get like a strikeout or something, they I don't know, they black out and just go crazy and then I don't know, right now maybe Gunner. Every time he steps in the box, he's he's doing something good. So it's not Jake. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, he's He's a he's a he's an old man like myself so we we stay pretty low key.